Hey, this is Rebecca Dirks with PremierGuitar.com. We are in Corona, California, inside the brand new Fe Fender Visitor Center, and we are checking out some brand new amps with Shane Nicholas. And what we have here is the Air new Eric Clampton amps, which haven't actually even been officially announced, right? That is true. These are going to launch beginning of October. Uh, it's three models, the EC Vibro Champ, the EC Tremolux, and the EC Twin Olux. These are based on the 57 Champ, Deluxe, and Twin that we've made for several years and that Eric's been using on tour and in the studio. And uh, he came to us a little while back and said he'd like to do signature models of these with a couple of uh, features added. Now what we just heard there was the Vibro Champ and we actually just watched one of those get made in the factory. Um, so you'll have to go online and check that out too because it's a, it's a really cool video and you can see from beginning to end of the process how they're made. But now we want to talk about the features and how they sound. So talk about some of the features that Eric wanted added to these. Okay, well uh, traditional Fender Tweed Champ is a 5 watt amp with an 8 inch speaker. Fantastic for recording. Uh, Eric uh, told us that he recorded the entire uh, 461 Ocean Boulevard album on this, which that album had stuff like uh, I Shot the Sheriff and Motherless Children and stuff on it. And uh, he's used Champs for probably at least 40 years in the studio. Uh, this is a Champ with two extra features added. One is built-in tremolo. <laughs> very unique for a champ. It's got a speed control and you just click it on and off. Uh, the other feature that all three EC amps have is power attenuator. Uh, for people who are uh, familiar with things like power soaks and power brakes and hot plates and stuff like that, uh, this is a device that lets you turn the amp to the sweet spot for the amount of distortion you want and then if you want to reduce the volume of the speaker you can. So in this case I can turn my champ up it's very distorted and hit the output there I don't know if that's going to come across on the camera but in the room here it, it makes it considerably less volume which is great for recording So that is the Tremolux. You want to tell us some of the features that that amp has? Yeah, the EC Tremolux is based on a 1950s uh, deluxe amp, which we reissued several years ago. And uh, this amp is about 12 watts. It's got a 12-inch speaker. Uh, traditionally, these amps are known as having a very compressed sound, uh, a lot of sag, meaning when you hit the guitar hard, you have a, a, a squash in dynamics, which for playing blues is really good. Um, Eric asked for this amp to have uh, tremolo uh, included. And you have a speed control. And he uses it on a song or two uh, in concert. Uh, the other thing with these amps that are, that are known for having a lot of compression is uh, Mr. Clapton asked for us to include uh, a Celestian uh, Heritage 65 speaker who's going to be a little tighter than uh, the, the stock speaker in a, a Deluxe. And uh, that's especially good when you think of the Clapton guitar has a, a mid boost on it, which is going to drive the amp harder. Uh, we also have uh, an internal bias pot. Uh, so that you can set the bias uh, accurately to have a little more uh, 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 efficiency from the power amp. And then finally, we have that power attenuator. So if you have that amp in the, in the studio and you want to turn it up and get a little more distorted, but you want it at lower volume, flip on the power attenuator and it just takes the volume down a little bit. So this is the Twin Olux, which is the largest amp in the lineup. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, the Twin Olux is based on our famous 57 uh, Twin Amp, which uh, we uh, reintroduced uh, a number of years ago. Uh, it's known as having one of the most beautiful, uh, expressive, clean sounds of any amp ever. <laughs> We 
would say that an amplifier like that can have a pure clean tone with a little tiny bit of hair around the edge of the note, which is that harmonic content that really makes a clean guitar tone sound wonderful. Like any good tube amp, you crank this up a little bit on your volume and you're going to get a nice full distortion sound. Uh, but it's also going to be very dynamic in that if I just lighten up on my picking attack, it completely cleans up. <laughs> The EC Twinalux has a very useful feature on here where we have not only a power attenuator, but we have the ability to turn one speaker off. So I can have a full 40 watts with two 12-inch speakers, which is loud enough for just about any gig in the world. Uh, I can turn the power attenuation on where I'm going to have uh, resistance added to the speaker so it brings down the, the level a little bit. And then I can also turn one speaker off. So if you're miking it and you make sure which speaker you're miking, uh, this becomes a, a lower level studio amp, almost like if you had the, the volume level and performance of a Tweed Deluxe or a Tremolux in the studio. Can we hear those yeah. options? Yeah. <laughs> And uh, what speakers are in this one? Uh, the Twinolux has uh, the Weber-designed uh, Fender Special Design Eminence speaker. That's a little mouthful to say. What it really means is that uh, years ago we worked with Ted Weber to get the cone and the magnet and everything exactly how we wanted it. Uh, and our friends at Eminence are actually producing the speakers for us. Great. Um, and any other features on this one that you wanted to go over? That great 50s Fender tremolo, which is output tube bias based tremolo, which simply means that it's turning the power amp on and off. So it has a real thick pumping kind of tremolo sound. <laughs> these amps going to be available? Uh, will be announced to the world October 3rd, 2011. So if people want to learn more about these amps, pricing and distribution uh, come October 3rd, where should they go? Fender.com. There'll be videos, uh, full specs, pricing, all that kind of stuff on Fender.com. All right. Well, thank you very much, Shane, for taking some time to show us the amps. Thanks, Rebecca. Uh -huh.